story time. One time I was scammed out of $300. I was a real estate agent and told one of my clients that I would make an offer on a property and then completely forgot about this. this so he calls me and he says, have you made that offer yet? And I was like, dang, no, I've not. And so I was like, let me pull over on the side of the road and I'll do it right now. So I pull over into this little dinky town gas station and I'm sitting there writing up an offer and somebody comes and knocks on my window and so I roll down my window and the couple of young gentlemen are standing there and they said hey we noticed that there's a dent in the side of your car we actually work for a auto repair shop and we have all the tools in our car to fix your dent at the time I was so busy writing this contract and feeling stressed about the fact that I forgot to write the contract that I was like oh of course this sounds great how much is it and he's like well normally if we are doing this in our shop it's gonna cost a grand but because we have everything here we can just do it really quick and will only be three hundred dollars I was like oh that sounds great this sounds like a perfectly legit plan and idea guys it only gets worse okay so I'm sitting there and I let them open the back of my car and they pull out this Tupperware of white foam and they're like oh we have this new technology it's called Vloam and it's gonna heat up the wet metal and pop it out and we're just gonna bang on it a little bit and it will pull it right out I get in my car and I start looking up Vloam and nothing comes up and I'm like what this okay and they're talking to me like they're keeping me engaged the whole entire time and I'm like did you say Vloam and they're like oh no 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 Vloam it's Vloam with it with an F and I was like oh so I start looking it up again and then one of the gentlemen comes over to me and starts talking to me I stop looking up this thing and I get out of the car and he's like oh you smell really good are you wearing perfume and I was like uh no I'm like totally confused and then the guy's like okay we got it on and I look at my car and there's this white foam all over my car and he's like okay we have to leave this on you're gonna leave it on for about three hours and then when you take it off it's gonna be all good and you're gonna have a perfect car we're doing this on the side do you mind just giving us cash because we're afraid that if our boss found out that we're doing this it wouldn't be good and I was like oh okay so I literally just go into the gas station, pull $300 out of my bank account and hand it to these guys and get back in my car and I watch them drive away. And it is right in that second that I'm like, I just got scammed out of $300. So I go outside and I look at this foam stuff. It's shaving cream, guys. It's literally just shaving cream. That's what he was saying that I smelled nice because he wanted to distract from the fact that the shaving cream smelled nice. And when I realized this, I could see their car. So I like book it out of this gas station. I'm like, I'm going to get their driver's license. I'm going to call. I'm going to do something else. I'm like recklessly driving behind them, trying to remember their driver's license. And they're like taking off. I'm like chasing them. And I realized, okay, I try to remember their license. I probably should stop chasing them. And uh, I called the police, gave them their number, but nothing happened. I'm sure. It's a lesson to me. Um, it's pretty easy to get scammed out of $300. <laughs>